Also Prescritz, Exit the Vortex Club, ja. Aber wie komme ich denn da jetzt? Ich muss den Weg da rein finden, das weiß ich, aber wie? Ja, ich habe ne, ich habe eine Events für die Idee. No one in no, no. Mach doch mal Platz da! So, wir sind jetzt da drüber, aber Aufmerksamkeit würde ich gar nicht verursachen. Nathan ist der Vortex Club. Also, sein Ass muss hier sein heute Abend. Juliet, actually. Dana. Yes. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Warn her? Dude! Nathan Prescott is totally spun out. Oh, it's really very shiny. We can see it. 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 We can Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Max, I saw Kate Marsh die. I swear it didn't feel real to me. I kept thinking, did I cause this? Did I? I felt like shit ever since. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. 
For what? I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Look at me, I got the judge of the contest suspended. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet, but it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him, and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Es war wohl besser, ihr Bescheid zu geben. Weil ich, ich bin kein Arm, ich oh, bin ich nicht. Ne? So schöne, egal. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh... Hey, Mr. Jefferson! Oh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. But I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I put... I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought 
about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. <sighs> Ob das gut ist, ist eine Frage. Ich traue Nathan echt kein Stück. Keinen fucking Stück. Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. Sagt die, die gerade die auch die laut die geredet die hat, ne? Okay. So creepy out here. <lacht> wer, ist, wer läuft da noch gerne um die Uhrzeit hier raus, raus rum? Are you looking for something back there? Catch up. Max, please hurry. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Wait! Jefferson? Was? What? Das ergibt doch... 
Das ergibt... Das ergibt keinen Sinn. Haben wir uns so stark in Nathan geirrt, oder was? Why Jefferson? Das... Oh, es hätte sogar die Sache geben können, dass man niemanden verletzt. Das ist mir egal. Okay. Du hast den Blauherr. Hab ich das? Du hast das Vogelnest nicht angetastet. Du bist auf äh, andere Art an Davids Akten gekommen. Okay, jetzt hat sie nicht geholfen. Kate? Hm. Du hast David nicht überzeugt, zur Vortex-Party zu gehen. Daniel, du hast keine Nachricht auf Warrens Tafel hinterlassen. Du hast Nathans Pin geknackt. Es ist interessant, dass es diese Funktion gibt, dass man es nicht knacken kann, weil wer weiß, wie man das hätte denn beheben können. Irgendwie. Ja, genau. Place. Ich bin echt sehr gespannt, wie sich das noch, noch äh, klärt, weil äh, jedenfalls ich hoffe, euch hat trotz der Verstörten, was wir gerade noch kurz gesehen haben, Sache trotzdem die Aufnahme hier gefallen hat. Lasst doch auf jeweils äh, eine kleine, feine Bewertung da. Und ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns dann zu Life is Strange Episode 5 Polarized. Und diesbezüglich bis dahin und ciao.